Well, my recording stopped, but I will pick up with 18.5. So there's lots of ways to <clears throat> tackle 18.5. You're going to use a function to draw the window, and then you're going to move in between. So in order to draw the window, you can draw the window lots of different times, and you're going to want to be able to jump to the next window so that you can start. Just remember, you're going to have to <clears throat> start wherever um, you started in the first one because if, let's say for example, you finish drawing your star he, like here and then you jump forward and then you start drawing your window, it's going to be up. You want to make sure that they're jumping to exactly that spot. So we could even jump back to that spot, I suppose. But I'm going to draw a window by moving forward and each window pane is 25 pixels. So I'm gonna move forward 25, and then I'm going to jump back. Twenty-five. So I'm back where I started. And then I'm going to turn right 90 degrees. And so then I'm going to do that one, two, three, four times because there's four little, it's like a four arm star. That's what I, how I'm thinking about it. So we've got a four arm star. And then if I jump back to the center, now I still need to trace all the way around. So I'm going to Jump forward 25. Now that'll be here, and then I'm gonna go up. So that means I'm gonna turn left 90, and then I'm gonna go <clears throat> forward 25. I'm just um, thinking out loud. I'm trying to think out loud, and it's hard because you can't see what I'm doing. So I know here, jump forward. I'm right there on the window. So then if I turn left and I go forward 25, I'm up at this corner. So now I want to turn left and go 50. So turn left and go forward 50, not, not 25. So now I, if I do that, that's going to go here, so I can repeat that two, three times, loops, repeat, three times, and then I'm still going to have to turn left and go 25 back up there. So let's do that. Turn left. Oops, not four times. Turn left. And go forward. 25. Now that should have drawn the whole border of my window. So I'm just going to test that out to make sure my thinking is correct in drawing the window and not worry about making all of the windows. Oh, I didn't dry. Okay, so this what happened when run. I have my function defined, but I didn't call my function. So let me drag that over. Try that again. Oh boy, that's not what I wanted. <clears throat> let me slow this down. Reset. Go forward, backward, turn right. Go down and back, turn right. Go forward, backward, turn right. Forward, backward, turn right, go forward, turn left, go forward, turn left, go forward, turn, oh, I didn't turn left. Okay, so where was that? Move forward, 25, turn left, oh, I only want to repeat this part, I don't want to repeat all of that. So let me put that up there. 
put that up there. I think that fixed it. Let's try. All right, so what that means is, oops, something else is still not right because I thought I was going to be ending right here and I didn't do that. So let me try that slowly and watch what happens. Okay, so I'm going to go up, turn left, go forward, turn left, go forward, turn left, go forward, turn left. Oh, too many times. Too many times. Oh, it says four times, and I know I said out loud three times. Because I said I was going to go one, two, three, and then do it. So I think for sure, I'm pretty confident this is going to be totally right. I'm going to go in super fast. All right, great. That's where I wanted to be. So this is kind of how it works when you're coding and debugging. You try a part, you test it out, make sure it does what you want, and then you can go back and edit it. So if I draw a window, when I reset this, I'm at the center of the window. If I'm going to jump forward, I can either say, okay, go back to the center so I know where to jump forward to, or I could say I ended here, so make sure to only jump forward to that spot. Um, <coughs> I'm going to say go back to the center. So I'm going to turn left and go forward one more time. And that's this part here. So I'm just going to throw a loop on this last part. Loops. And I want to do that twice. And put this back in. So my, my thing, your thinking may totally be different and may be totally working. At the very end, I was here. I had to turn left, go 25. I'm going to turn left, go 25. I'll be back at the center. But then I'm facing the wrong direction because I'm facing to the right this time. So let me add in a... Turn. This is really tricky. Turn. I was facing the facing left. Turn up left. So I'm facing that wall over here, and I need to turn around 180 degrees. 180 is a full rotation. All right, and then from there, I'm just gonna I'm gonna assume this is right. We'll see what happens. Each window is made up of 25. The top windows. Da, 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 da. The bottom windows are. Oh, the top windows are 100 pixel jump away from each other. So after I draw my window, I need to jump forward 100 pixels. Is that connected? There it goes. Okay. And then after I get there, I want to draw another window. So I need to drag the function in. After I get there, I want to jump forward another 100. So... <clears throat> Instead of dragging another jump forward, I just need to do this whole thing twice. So do that whole thing twice, please. So let's see, this is going to be twice. Somebody's getting a phone call, not me. Forward, so I'm going to go draw a window, jump forward. So draw a window, jump forward, draw a window, jump forward, and then I'm going to need to draw a window. I'm just going to run it to see where I am so far. Yay, I got all three. So now I have to jump to these guys. So these say the bottom windows. Ah, I hit a button. Okay, let's see. The bottom window is, thank goodness my code is still there, 150 pixel below. So if I'm here, I'm going to go jump down 150 actions. I wonder if we can jump down or if I have to turn first. I can only jump forward or backward. So in order to jump 150, this would have me jumping 150 to the right. I want to go down. So that means I have to turn right before I jump. Turn right. So turn right. Go down. Let's see where we're at. We should have one, two, three, four windows, and I'll have to jump back over there. Oh, I didn't draw another window. Draw a window. Go. 
Wow. All right, so now I'm facing down and I want to go over there. So I'm going to turn right 90 degrees, jump forward 150 degrees to get to that other window. I think I'm going to be facing the wrong way. Let's see if my window will draw anyway. I'm not sure. Oh, 150 gets me there. I'm not at the window. I need to go further. This is 150 down. Gosh, there's so much math in this one. 150 down. These are 100 apart. So that means this is from here to here is 100. From here to here is 200. And I'm assuming these are parallel. So we're going to go forward 100 forward another 100. So this should be for 200. Reset. All right, let's see. Run. Go. 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 Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. I knew I was facing the right wrong way. Jump 200 and I got to do another 180. So actions. Turn right. 180. Turning all the way around. And then I got to I got to draw the window. Maybe that was my problem. Functions. Draw a window. Let me try it. Please go, 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 go. Yes, I didn't need to. Woohoo! All right, well, I want to see what kind of code that you had, so please show me uh, what you did to get yours to work.